What's up? Um, a lot of you have asked me to uh, do a video on how to make a percolated bong, so I'm going to show you how to make a single per single ice chamber bong. Only using, uh, you need three Gatorade bottles, <coughs> you need some electrical tape, you need an empty pill bottle, a 20 ounce cap, some kind of tubing, I'm using half inch clear. PVC tubing. Um, uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, also, if you have it, a soldering iron is really good to use to make holes. Um, anyway, get all this stuff together and uh, I'll show you what to do. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is actually make the perk itself, and to do that, you're going to melt a hole with a soldering iron in the 20 ounce cap just big enough for the uh, tubing, whatever size tubing you're going to be using. Um, I'm going to be using half inch, so take a second to get it just right, because you want to air tight. And the reason for the the cap, and I'll show you in just a second, now that you got it fit air tight, just like this it's gonna fit into the medicine bottle and if you notice the cap isn't completely snug so to fix that you just run tape around it and it'll make it snug um, if you don't know how a percolator works um, it's too hard for me to explain um, go to Wikipedia they have a really good section on it they show you a really good uh, diagram also of how it works, but it just has a lot to do with the neutral and uh, like positive and negative pressure. And uh, it's healthier. Water is one of the best natural filters, and the more times you can filter smoke through water, the healthier it is for you, or the cleaner the high, because the chemicals in marijuana are not water soluble, meaning they do not mix. Uh, so the more you filter it through, the better it is. Okay, now at the bottom of the fill bottle, melt little tiny holes for the uh, actual filtration. Do it any pattern you want. But I use smaller holes. And we're good. Okay, now I got a bunch of holes in that. Now you're going to want to push the stem up, push the tape up. A little too much tape. And if everything fits snug. Tape it, make it airtight. If you stretch this tape while you're taping it, stretch it really tight, makes it more airtight. Alright, now that is a working percolator, and I'll show you what to do with that in just a second. Alright, now it's where you take one of the bottles and you melt a hole. For your down stem, I'm using uh, the half inch, but I've been using this a lot, so it's uh, a little messed up. But all you use was soldering iron. Now all you do is take the percolator. If you notice, it fits really snug in the tip of it. If you're doing it with one person, it's a lot harder. If you have two people, it's easier. But push it down as hard as you can without breaking it. And go around as tight as you can once to hold it in place so you can do it with your hand.
go around as tight as you can because you want it airtight. You can't stress how much the it needs to be airtight. All right, now <coughs> the next bottle, cut the bottom off. Um, put the cap on it and cut some holes in it. You'll see why in a little sec, <laughs> a little second, a little while. Um, put it on top. Same deal, just like the percolator. You have somebody who can hold it. It's a lot easier. Push down. Start it out. Alright, now put the cap on and repeat the last process. Pull the bottle down. It's a lot easier if you have two people. And there you go. It's finished. Um, this is how I made my slide. I just cut a piece of tubing out and put a really big uh, socket in it. Um, stretch the outer so it'll slide. And we put some water in it and I will test it. <laughs> this entire house, I can't find a thing in my life. Are you serious? I can't find a lighter in the entire house. That is so shitty. Just built the bong. Can't even test it out. So, uh, now I'm gonna go into the kitchen and use the stove the old fashioned way. So, uh, this sucks. But, uh, anyway, most of the trickling noise you hear is my fish tank. I'm just gonna show you my fish tank. Um, it's very Zen style. We have African cyclids. It's, a uh, to uh, is a 55 gallon tank. Um, it's a yellow lab. There's an albano. There's two catfish. Another yellow lab. We have some blue acacias somewhere, but they're hiding. They're shy. Um, fish are really cool. Stoner friends. They're stoner friendly. Anyway, these are just. Finally, okay. Now that you got it finished, put a little bit of water on the bottom to filter it there, uh, cover the holes in the percolator, and then put some ice in the top. That's what the yellow cap's for to keep the water from going down. But uh, I know we've all been there using toothpicks on the damn stove. Can't find a damn lighter. Anyway, give it a rip. But yeah, have fun with it. Like I said, once you uh, <coughs> once you understand how to make the percolators, it's not that hard at all. Um, <coughs> and then you can have fun. Stack them on top of each other if you want. Make as many as you want. But one's all you need. <coughs> anyway, 
Hope that helps. Uh, keep smoking. I'm out.